What's up everyone, my name is Zach, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to do some high-end skin softening where you can still actually keep the texture intact. So, for this method, you're gonna go ahead and import your photo. I just got this one off of a stock photo website. So click your picture, press Control J, and that duplicates the layer. First thing you wanna do is press Control I, so it inverts it, and then we're gonna go up to We'll click on your layer, go up to your blending options, and let's do vivid light. And then after that, you want to go to filter, other, high pass. And for this, I generally like keeping it around 24 pixels. Then after that, make sure your layer is still selected. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And generally around three to four pixels is best. The higher the pixel, the more soft it is, the softer it is. So let's try like 3.5. So go ahead and press OK. Now this is about where we want it for now, but the problem is that the softness is everywhere. So to counter that, hold Alt or Option if you're on the Mac, come down to your mask and click. And now make sure your, your foreground is white. To do that, you can press X to swap these, or you can just click it and go up to white, click. And I'm gonna make my brush relatively big for the sake of this, soft. Keep the flow at 100 for now. And now I'm gonna zoom in, make it a little bit bigger. I'm using the open bracket sign to make the brush bigger. And then click and watch the age go away. And for this, you wanna avoid hair, generally, hair and highlights. So just be careful with that. This is not gonna be a perfect edit because I'm just gonna do it quick for this tutorial. Go easy over this. I like the wrinkles of the crow's feet. It shows real emotion. I don't wanna get rid of those completely. And there we go. Make sure you do not get the eyes. You want them to be as detailed as possible. Careful on the nose and the highlights. And watch the outline of the lips. Go smaller if you need to. And if you do accidentally go over something that you don't mean, like this, just press X and then brush right back over it. And it'll bring it right back. Or you could control Z. And then make sure your white foreground selected again. Make this a little bit bigger. And we'll just brush over this. Oh, control Z. That was a mistake, huh? Okay. Yeah. Don't want to get too precise right now. So if you want to see what you've gone over, then press backslash and everything that's in red is what you have not touched. So that looks good for now, but it is very, very, very soft. So click on your layer, come up to your opacity and mess around with it. I'll try 50 first. I like that. That's very, very realistic. And so here's before, here's after. And I'll zoom in. Before, after. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching, guys.